Hey again guys, I can't believe it's that time again, but I am excited. Welcome to another mailbag. I'm going to get this thing started with a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Uh, this is a fairly chunky box, uh, and this comes from my P.O. box. No sender, no nothing. Uh, so this could be a company, but it could be one of you guys. So let's see. Oh. Oh, well then, I guess we need to take a look at this thing. Um, this is another one of those Kai Wheats multimeters. So there was one in the last mailbag, a smaller one, and this one's much bigger. Comes with a temperature probe, comes with uh, leads. Ooh. That's, that's a chonky boy. I'll tell you, there are a couple companies that want to send me stuff to test out. And uh, honestly, Kai Wheats told me they're looking for honest feedback. So if it's garbage, they want to know, uh, which is quite important to me. So that's neat. Um, so yeah, that's what I have these. Uh, this one here is available on Amazon already. The other one that I got last mailbag is actually a um, pre-production pre unit or yeah, it's not available to buy yet. You know what, I'm liking this battery mechanism. It's pretty neat. So yeah, if you wanna get your own of these multimeters, uh, check in the link in the description, but I will be doing a full multimeter review at some point coming soon. Let's see. You got a nice length of lead. It's not it's not um, the hard plastic PVC, but it's also not these super soft RC stuff for these leads. Let's see if we can get a measurement on something. Ooh. These, uh, geez, these jacks are really stiff. Um, oh, this one also has a flashlight. Range. Interesting. Don't know why it says range 90 volts to 1000 volts, 50, 60 hertz. Oh, that's the NCV. All right, how do you turn this puppy on? Um, okay, you know, it has a pretty nice and big display. Kind of like that. There's the NCV. Yeah. You can kind of, yeah, that works. That's pretty nice. Um, let's see about the ohms. Resistance, let's put it in buzzer. Well, first of all, let's check the resistance of the leads. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Zero ohms. Okay, so either these are really good leads or uh, this meter doesn't know what it's talking about. Let's see if we can put the buzzer on. It's a little lazy. It's a little lazy, but it's not a premium meter, actually. These things don't cost all that much. So, yeah, if you're not sure whether or not you're going to want one, well, you better check the review coming soon. Hey, shouldn't you? Maybe it has to be on. Oh, there we go. Flashlight is on now. It's interesting. I don't dislike it yet, which is nice, but it's a big, it's a big meter. Okay, neat. Let's go on to the next one. Next one up is this one here from Amazon. I uh, paid a little bit more money, but I had no choice because uh, something that I bought wasn't exactly what I bought. So it was, uh, yeah, 11.42, September 19th to 21st from Amazon. And it is these guys, which we're gonna have to take a little bit of a closer look. 
And so these are barbed fittings, uh, typically used in water cooling. They are, there are six of them here. Um, I got them big enough to fit the hose that I bought. And it's all because the water cooling radiator I got for the upcoming thermoelectric projects um, didn't have the barbs that they showed in the description. The uh, seller gave me $5 Canadian back on this, so it pays for half of these barbs, but to be honest, uh, I didn't need all of them. It's just that the single barbs would have cost the same price. Um, so yeah, they just thread into here. And they have an O-ring, which I like, which sits in here. I'll have to grease. And you just thread these in there, and then you can put your hoses on top. So all I'm missing really to start the tech project is uh, a little bit of spare time and um, some pumps, I guess, and a reservoir. But I mean, that's something I probably have on hand, so I wouldn't worry too, too much. If you're excited for the uh, tech project, let me know in the comments below, because uh, if I need to chisel out, you know, an evening or two to work on it, I'd rather know that you guys are interested. Next one up is this flashlight times one. I did not pay $5 for it. I paid $4 for it, and I actually thought it was something else, so I wrote something else on it. I'm always buying flashlights because as a automotive technician, mechanic if you will, uh, I always need a little pocket flashlight and as stuff gets cheaper, typically the cheap flashlights get better. So this looks okay. It's aluminum, it's got a uh, LED there. Probably can see if you open this up. So the whole brains of the operation is actually press fit into this here. So that's the battery contact and it's the brains of the operation. It's got a, a driver or a resistor or something like that. And on this end, it'll be the switch. And these claim to be waterproof. This one doesn't even have an O-ring, so I don't even, I wouldn't even assume it is. Got a fresh pack of the finest Dollarama AAA packs that I can get. Um, these are uh, carbon zinc, so they don't last nearly as long as alkaline, but whatever. Um, there we go, there's a the switch portion. Ooh, it's already on. Okay, so right off the bat, not super bright, but not too bad. The important thing will be if it stays in my pocket and gives me a reasonable runtime. Um, I'm always showing uh, students stuff underneath the car at the college, and I can't see anything in low light, so this is good. At the shop, I'm always looking up in uh, the dirtiest, dingiest of places. Need a little bit of extra light, and if you have one of those big, long uh, flood fill ones like this, when you're trying to look into a little confined space, you're illuminating the foreground as well as what you're looking at. So it's not as good as a pinpoint light. When you're doing general work, this thing is the bee's knees. And let's see a just comparison of luminosity. I'm going to put them both about the same height. Okay, so yeah, it's not, it's not actually that bad because I know for a fact that this one here is plenty bright for what I do. So having this little pinpoint light source will be actually... Pretty cool, so yeah, four bucks. And um, if you think I can just go to the dollar store for these, I'll tell you the $4 um, and lower flashlights from the dollar store are terrible. If you're interested in me picking up a couple to show you how bad they are, let me know in the comments below. On to the next one. Next one up is this one. Um, I specifically ordered this from Canada on eBay. So I paid a little bit more, but it was cheaper than Amazon. So $20.23, taxes included. Government always has to have their share. Um, yeah. I don't know why these are so expensive. $10 a pop. But uh, it just is what it is. These are display port cables. Um, I never had any in stock because they're... I find them really expensive at $10 for six feet. 
but DisplayPort is by far the um, highest, sort of lowest latency, highest uh, information carrying type of cable you can use. I got these six foot dealies because um, one of my monitors is running HDMI. Actually, okay, both my monitors are running HDMI, but um, one of them actually has a DisplayPort port and I've run out of HDMI ports on my computer. I'm trying to get a monitor down here to try to see what I'm doing on the camera and when I'm not filming I'm going to use it as a third monitor. So I figured it's time to get a display port cable. I got two because all of the new graphics cards come with a bunch of display port cable uh, display port ports uh, and maybe one HDMI and so uh, it's good to have in stock. I like to be prepared for these things because when you need a display port cable, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, where the heck are you going to get it? I'm definitely not running out to Best Buy and buying one for $40. That's nuts. So yeah, nothing too interesting to see here. We can go on to the next one. Last package for today. Um, this one, I was really, I thought it was one thing, turned out to be another. Um, so I kind of tore into it a little early. I hope you guys will forgive me. But uh, yeah, this is another multimeter, but this one is actually pretty special. This one here is a graphing multimeter, or they call it even a handheld oscilloscope. We'll have to see about that. But this has been graciously sent in by banggood.com for me to give it a shot and uh, do a review of it. And I will definitely do a review of it uh, in the upcoming weeks. There we go. The must tool, uh, MT something or other. I know it was here. Oh, MT uh, 8206. Wow. Terrible at this. So here it is in all of its glory. Not bad. I like the shape see about these leads okay same sort of uh, semi silicone leads they're they're uh, not as supple as the full-on high quality RC stuff but also definitely not uh, the PVC crappy stuff put the leads into here I don't know if it comes with a battery or if I need to add one myself oh this knob is very stiff and there's off at both ends. That's quite interesting. Let's see what kind of batteries I need for this. I actually put away my batteries. Install the A and B, then install the C. Okay, I, I didn't, oops, coming this way. I didn't think I needed uh, instructions on putting batteries in, but I guess I do. Uh, double A's. Only the finest uh, double A's that you can find in the cheap aisle in your dollar store. So again, these are going to be carbon zinc batteries. This is, you know, this is a little hard to see with the tilting bale in the way, but I guess it's not too bad. So one, ooh, got a nice spring to that. Two, and then install the C. Oops, I guess I should put the battery door back in. I do like that they give you the instructions, as much as, much as I'm harping on it for now. Um, instructions are quite useful, especially when your comment section tells you you do everything wrong. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello. This is like an OLED screen. Wow. Select? What do we, what do we do? How do we get the... Where do we get the graph going here? Uh, I can see that there's a voltage, resistance, capacitance port, a COM port, a high current port, a milliamp and microfarad, millifarad. Man, these, these things are stiff. All right. Okay, let's check uh, resistance here. Eh, 
Yeah, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. Oh, almost zero. Okay. Can we change uh, function? Function select. What the heck was that? Diode test. Wow, that's a loud buzzer. Ooh. That buzzer is latching. And it's super quick. Wow. That's pretty decent. Um, got frequency here. Let's see if we can grab a frequency from the mains. No, none of turns. Um, how am I going to, well here, I got an idea. Turn on my power supply, not loaded. Not picking up a frequency. Oh, there we go. 14 hertz. How do you turn this into a graphing multimeter? Hmm. Don't tell me you have to go AC voltage. Okay, it said to hold down the DIS button for two seconds to enable the uh, graphing portion. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Hmm. How can I change the range now? Also, is there backlight? I guess not, because it's like an OLED, isn't it? I don't know if you guys, you guys can see like my camera and like nothing else. It's not super bright. I will tell you that. How's that working? Can you see? Probably not. Right now there's really nothing. Oh. Oh wow, you can turn, okay, change the time scale. So now it really becomes a sort of graphing multimeter. Oh, that is cool. Can you graph in resistance mode? That would be a good question. Hmm. does not seem like you can. Well, I'm going to have to play with this and uh, do a review video on it. So if you're at all interested in uh, this thing, uh, please tune in for that. Make sure you're subscribed. And these five items make up for today's mailbag. Um, I'm going to have some work to do to do some reviews on some multimeters. Um, if you are at all interested in any of those, make sure you're subscribed. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon patrons. You guys have been super patient with me. Um, I think my life is slowly returning to a regular, ske regular schedule, so I'll be able to upload more videos coming soon. Those of you who want to join the uh, most awesome league of people I've ever met, head over to Patreon in the link below. And for those of you who just enjoy watching, well... Thanks for watching.